Of course, the first thing I've started off with is BB cream and I've already blended it into my skin. After that, after I've applied eye primer, I'm going to be using a very light brown, starting on the outer corner of the eye and working that into the crease, around the outer corner of the eye and then underneath the lashes, as close to the lash line as possible. After you've blended that in on both eyes, I'm going to be using a slightly darker brown and keeping that mainly on the outer corner of the lashes, working that into the lower and the upper lashes and keeping it as close to the edge as possible. Now for the eyeliner, we're going to be going for more of a cat eye winged eyeliner and the easiest way to do this is to look down, start from the highest point on your upper lid and then draw out and then on the outer corner connect that from the lower lid and then fill that line in Once you've filled in the eyeliner on the upper lid bring that down and work that into the lower lashes and even a little bit on the waterline if you want to as well Bring in the gold for Gryffindor, I'm going to take a small eyeliner brush and then some gold and we're going to do a small line just on the outer corner and then on the inner corner as well but don't get that all the way to the middle of the lid, we just want to keep that on the inner corner and the outer corner. With a gold eyeliner pencil, I'm also going to apply that on the inner corner of the eye and then also on the waterline, just right down the centre. You don't need to cover the whole waterline, just right in the middle. Because we're going for a bit of a cat eye look with this, I'm going to be applying two pairs of lashes. I'm going to be applying the demi lashes just on the outer corner to give the eyes a little bit more of a flick. And then later on, I'll be applying a second pair of lashes just to thicken everything up. Now to add that Gryffindor crimson colour, we're going to be going for a red lipstick and just go over the edges to make sure they're neat. And then with a gold eye dust, I'm just going to apply that on the cupid's bow and then afterwards go over with the lip liner pencil and then that way that gold is going to blend into the red lipstick but you're still going to have a tiny little bit of gold on the outer corner on the cupid's bow but you'll also get a little bit of a shimmer on the lipstick as well which will look beautiful. I'm going to finish off with some highlighter just in a C shape over my cheekbones and then also just underneath the arch of my brow and then that's it, you're done.